Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a special quick little Game Guys uh, bonus short. Uh, Father was just showing me an, a more efficient way to farm runes. Now, as I may have demonstrated previously here on Game Guys, I used here. Oh, let me let me go back to that same spot. You so go you to need, the underground. You, you go the to gold, the gold Palace scarab, of and then and then eat Whoops. and then eat a eat a gold foot. Eat a gold foot, and I've already eaten a gold foot. I've got Wait, dad, the gold dad, before foot. Before you do, before you do it, let me let me demonstrate the old way, and then I want to, and then you can show the new way. Okay. All right, everybody. So, if you look at my tiny little gamer box on the left side of yours. Well, no, 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 no. We'll make yours monitor. big. Yours will be yours will be big right now. You you've oh, got the okay. big one right now. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> okay. Uh, never mind. Just kidding. I'm enhanced. So, this is the old method. So, you know, I got my, uh, I got Mogwin's Sacred Spear, you know, plus 10. I go into the middle of these dudes. You do this. I'm from 116k to 128k. So I started at 116k. I, I, all right. Yeah, 116k. And let's see how long it takes me to get from that. All right. There you go. And then I just kind of take these guys out. Now, are you using the uh, the scarab and the and the and the gold foot? Oh no, I am not. Okay. Do you have the scarab and the, and the gold foot? I don't think I do. Not on this character. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we can do it. We can do an A B comparison, and I'll I'll. I'll take my scarab off. My gold foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, has... take your buffs off just because I didn't have the buffs. All right. So I was at 116. I'm now at 163. We'll just, we'll just, I'm just so, yeah, this. I got about 50k runes. It took me a couple of minutes, and I had to run around and <clears throat> hit, hit different spots of the area. All right, Father. Well, it's just one, one too five. many. All right, Demonst so this is, this is, this is unbuffed. This is unbuffed. Uh, What's your rune start? I'm, I'm at three, uh, 392,000 runes right, right now. All right, 392k. This is unbuffed. All right, so we'll start at 392. One swing. By my calculations, that's 37,000, which is about right. It's between like 30... Uh. 35 to 40, somewhere in there. Well, it hits most, but it doesn't quite hit the back line, dudes. Right, but it's see. about the timing. Yeah. It's about, it's about that. Yeah. It's about My this. weapon does more raw damage, but your weapon swings faster to the point where your rune output is much more efficient. Because I also have to run around and hit and use That's the That's my whole point, Robin. This is just, I know, I know I'm not getting everything. I don't, I don't have Dad, to. Dad, that I'm, was not I'm, a criticism. That was. Oh just, no no no! I'm I'm just I'm just worked. I'm excited. That's all. I'm not I'm not arguing no, with you at all. Don't you get excited? You sound pissed. I, I trust me, buddy. I understand that fully. Now that I'm in my late fifties, I understand how me getting excited sounds pissed off more more often than not. Trust me, <laughs> I I get that. So now, so now. that so that that's about thirty. You know, thirty ish thirty ish to forty like. Per swing, all right. So, yep. so now if we if we reload if we reload the the scarab, so I got a little more, but it took me a lot longer. By the time, like for every one rotation, my dad can do three rotations. So for one rotation of fifty k, he gets about three rotations of thirty. What is it? 37k yeah 37k right was your average right 37k times three three six nine seven ten twenty one nine that's about uh that's about 111,000. the amount of time it takes let, let's just round it to like 110k so the amount of time it takes for me to farm 50k runes you can farm 110k runes with your method it does require a specific weapon, specifically, what is it, from the Remembrance of the Elden Beast, the final boss of the base game? Yes. So, yeah. So, 
let's call this farming for shadows of the earth tree because in order to do this specific uh farming route the, the the only advantage i would say my farming route has is you can do my farming route with mulgwin's spear pre final boss fight but your farming method you can't do until after you defeat the final boss yes that's true however yes. you can call it far because it's actually recommended you play through all of the the uh, base game content before going into shadows of the earth tree so if you beat the final boss get the weapon get it maxed out and then you farm for like the extra levels for shadows of the earth tree i would say this is the most optimal sote farming mulgwin spear is good for base game farming okay but buddy don't forget the bird don't forget oh, yeah. the bird and the bird march and the bird is the word but for you marksman boy for you marksman boys and girls out there we do have an, an alternative method if you don't feel like if if uh if wiping out the albanerics is something that weighs on your conscience even though they just respawn and they're kind of just there there's a death bird you can just farm off of that uh father on his screen will demonstrate and just as a reminder we are on we are in the base game map but in the underground part at that's now so the bird will come and knock that tree down and he falls down and then you go back and you reset and if you see that seven i believe right that's seventeen thousand. that's seventeen thousand runes now i'm fully buffed up here so that's seventeen thousand runes if you're fully buffed up it's about eleven thousand it's about eleven thousand you just hit him with a hit him with a you can hit him with an arrow too just poke him and he as soon as that tree collapses and he goes off the thing, you're going to register that 17,000 runes. And like I said, if you're not buffed up, that's 11,000. So that's just going from this side of grace and you get into a little bit of a rhythm. And sometimes you can get him, you can get him before he turns around. But as he starts to turn, if you fire, well, I wasn't loaded. So if you fire, you hit him a little bit sooner as he's turning and you can get into a nice little rhythm and rack up when you're in that like hundred, you know, hot hundred to two hundred thousand that you can you can really level up pretty quickly doing that before you get to the the, the bigger weapons. So, so that's that's a little tutorial, and this is all stuff that I learned too. So you're not learning anything new here, but uh, but it's but here here it's all kind of like all those different late game options that that you have uh, that really help because I was going through that. I was going through that field and slugging these things out with uh, with the the, the the rivers of blood and all of that and right. boy it was it was great but it was it was thirty thousand you know but it, it was taking a lot of time so as soon as as soon as you get the bigger weapons you can take them out in bigger chunks but before the bigger weapons the shooting the bird was a much more efficient way especially if you were buffed up right. than going down um, and and just wiping them all out by hand.